Hello, welcome back to Brand of Sushi Love Nuring. In this episode, I'll be doing an improvised session using just a single vertex. Alright, so let's get started. When you open Blender, uh, a scene usually have light, camera, and this default cube. So you can turn this default cube into a single mesh vertices. Simply go to tab, right click, and merge vertices at center. Now you have just a single vertices. So you can rename it single vertex. A well, single vertex is really, um, it seems like nothing and you cannot render a single vertex, but this will soon become something when you use it together with um, geometry nodes. So this is uh, actually really powerful. So let's save it very, very quickly. Single vertex. So I want to teach you how to think like a like a technical artist in Blender, but it's not that complicated. So this is single vertices, and if you have, of course, geometry nodes, and you use it as a point instance, you can quickly turn this into anything, including light or monkey, or let's try monkey head. So this is the original monkey head and we have our single vertices you can grab the monkey head single vertices become monkey head and you can actually make multiple of point instance but we don't want to do that we, we because we have an array so you can actually oh yeah the array works after the monkey head so that's uh, pretty cool but i want to put it before the monkey head and give it a constant constant offset so this is really uh, so let's say I have seven or maybe ten ten duplicates of the points so now we have ten monkey heads as instance and this is cool because it's really really efficient so you can while having the array here you can shift the and change the distance here into different directions so now we already have a matrix of 100 monkey head all right so you can actually name it like that so it's more useful if you're doing it like this and the cool thing about this of course is that you can so i'm using blender 2.93 i think okay yep um, you can actually mesh, the, mesh them together because this is Blender 2.93 with 2.92 you cannot you cannot really mesh them together with this version the latest version alpha this is actually a real mesh so you can always remesh so this is really really powerful so yeah it's gonna delete that for now but you can see this is just a single single vertex it's almost like nothing but yeah right, like i said it's a single vertex becomes something um, even more powerful than curve or wrist pencil so, so i in, in terms of hierarchy of objects in blender i think wrist pencil is higher than curve and then curve can become like a point i'll show you soon uh so you can yeah you can use this with wave which is interesting very very interesting if you put it on after geometry nodes the instance become real objects if you put it before so the wave actually works as well like that and you can play around this is really the the power of blender modifier when combined with geometry nodes so there's a lot I'm I'm not gonna cover everything so that's a that's a single vertices with array X and array Y with wave so let's see I'm gonna save this this is already um, just a single example um, Suzanne we how about we can also use this, this pencil monkey head 
single vertices, just grab the other Suzanne. So we have Grease Pencil, Monkey Head. Um, a bit slow on my computer, but let's just scale this as tapping S and then make it smaller and then Control A, apply scale. Okay, yeah, it works with the Grease Pencil as well. So you can hide this, tap H. So let's save this very quickly. This is single vertex with just array. Now we're gonna get into uh, something that's more interesting if we are using curve or using grease pencil. Okay, using curve is... Okay, let's try Bezier curve by default. Bezier curve looking like this. If you go to edit modes, it only has two control points you can you can subdivide it select all let me do it pretty quickly <coughs> subdivide 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 okay so now we have more points and we gotta turn this single vertex into this curve so we are basically kind of res resembling it so let's uh Let's get rid of the array here. So we have, we have only this guy. We want to fix, fit this into the curve using the Bezier curve. And we have control of a relative and constant offset. Now we can use curve deform using the same Bezier curve. And let's put this there. Now you can start to see, let me scale the curve, okay, now you can see the curves become the instance of monkey head. Alright, so that's pretty cool, let's see what else we can do here, constant offset relative, okay. Just use constant offset for now. So of course, um, this is the parent curve that we can adjust as we like. Okay. And this curve still kind of like a live object, so you can also use it with wave. So the curve becoming wave, you can see it doesn't work on the vertices yet. You need to turn it on over here okay so this is what is this called apply on spline okay this modifier is apply but the effect is still live pretty cool and you can play around with these attributes pretty soon you can see that this kind of thing is really really uh, becoming really powerful so you can also use maybe noise or displacement, other displacement. Oh, maybe we don't have it here, but we can always go to the single vertex and play around with the geometry nodes. Okay, the grease pencil disappear because it was created around this frame, I think. And you can have multiple um, grease pencil monkey head, for example. Actually, we have that monkey, grease pencil monkey. So let's say you have this, and then you control A apply scale, duplicate it twice. Each monkey head have different material that you can make into, can turn into different variations. So in order to do that, you need, you click here. Now you can change the color. Select the skin, this is the material, it's used by two turn it into a single user okay let's save this select this guy 
So one, two, three, that's the new Suzanne. Move it into new collections. Call it uh, GP Grease Pencil Monkey. So now you can go back, you can come back to this guy and single vertex. Back to the instancing if we can. Okay. Collections, turn off whole collections, get our GP monkey. There you go. On top of this uh, wave, we actually can use screw. So let's try doing that. Okay, the screw doesn't work on the curve. Let's do it on the single vertices. Screw modifier. Put this before or after the curve. Now we have a lot of monkey head doing the wave. So I thought that's kind of interesting. Even more interesting is that you can instance um, something like light, like point light, for example. So single vertex, something that's kind of useless because you cannot render single vertex, suddenly become really powerful because you can you can turn it into anything thanks to this. Uh, of course, geometry nodes. And there's a lot of things you can do here with point instance. Uh, the one that I use a lot, randomize, attribute randomize, I think it should work with the scale. Yeah, so I think any point in time, you can just bake everything, and it's it's gonna be like Susan had in this case. But you can also point instance uh, the light, like I said. Point light. Let's try instancing points from vertices. So now we have a lot of point light. I don't know if my computer will crashes after this yeah maybe it won't be able to handle it oh yeah it works pretty interesting with the point light of course you, you can also change the color of point light randomizing it um, randomizing the attributes well, but we don't wait we don't want to go there yet okay so yeah that's a quick look at how a single vertex can become really powerful of course single vertex can also be a particle source emitter so I haven't used particle for a while but you can turn it into a particle system and if a single particle uh, if a lot of particles being born from a single vertex it's gonna be really powerful so single vertex is really really powerful thanks to geometry nodes and other modifiers uh, really something to keep eyes on because a single vertex is where you start before it becomes like a like random points or points on curve eventually like I want to be able to control bones armature animations using just points but that's gonna be for maybe future tutorial so alright so there you go, that's a single point and single vertex point, how you can use modifier, array, etc. Just become really powerful. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.